So let me take you through how following users and favoriting articles works. So the favoriting articles works with uh, on this article preview here. You can click this button and it will come into here. And uh, you're familiar now with the back end. So pretty much the, the back end uh, for the articles, there's a function called favorite articles like this, mutate favorite article. And that will update the database for us. And um, you've got the favorite array here. And then you also have the following users. And if you're following, you actually have an array of people you're following as well. So that's how it works. So let me just demonstrate that for you here by clicking. Uh, so I'm logged in as C at the moment. So let's just click favorite on, on this one. I've put a picture of Donald Trump in there as a picture as a profile, but I've not bothered to do, to do that with that user. So I click favorite. And there's an action on that, that button here. Uh, and then it uh, <clears throat> toggle favorite. So we come in here and then we also, uh, <clears throat> we get the article and then we, we modify the, uh, if it's favorited or not. And that's why it changes there. Even though the API technically hasn't changed it yet, we'd sort of optimistically change it there. So I'm gonna press F8 here and we come into the back end and we have, um, this path to the article, uh, the username, and uh, if it's been favorited or not. I have a bunch of error, error checks in here. Let me just increase the font size a bit for you. So we check to see if the username's there, and uh, we get this, um, we query to get the user that's gonna be favoriting, and um, it jumps up to there, actually. Uh, okay, so there, we've got the username, and we take the favorite bit, and uh, let's just press F8. <clears throat> so I've kind of messed up the debugging a little bit there. Let me just check to see if it's actually changed it on the back end. Article. Mm, I'm not really sure why that happened. Let's just continue. Get article, we mutate, and uh, get the article. And the code all makes sense, you know. First move this author is already in the list and add back if it's favoriting. Okay, article favorited by. So we've got this thing called, that's empty at the moment. And then we update the article. Let me just put a breakpoint in here. And uh, let's press F10. And let's just check the database on the articles. And we see there that the user ID is now part of that array. And so it's pretty bog standard as we go along here. We just continue. All right, and then we do a query in the author to get some more information. <coughs> so we've got the article now. And we have the author information, and so let's just basically populate some of the information from the article. And uh, let's just press continue. So let's go back to the front end and, and start the other one. And I'll just skip here. Right. And we know what unfavorite does. <laughs> let's just check the database to see that worked, to see if that worked or not. Right, so good, we've got both articles um, favorited there. Now let's just talk about the users. So users, you go into a user profile and then if you want to follow them, you just click follow. And down that component, there's a toggle follow button. And uh, I actually added some of this, this uh, logic here. Uh, I think, no, that's that was already there. If it's not logged in, it sends you back to there to follow. And uh, okay, yeah, optimistic UI, see that? Toggles it. And then um, we just go to the back end to do the same thing as kind of the other one. And so we get the top following username, follow, follower, and then imitation, which would be true in this case. And then we'll just continue here. Let's get the user key. Um, Okay, follower user, that's a follow user. I wonder why it jumps up there. <laughs> Strange. So this is basically adding that to that array in the database. So we go through and do some changes. 
So I'll pretty much, pretty much say I'm just going to continue here and just show you in the database what it looks like. So hopefully now we have a follower in one of the properties. There we go. So that essentially is, uh, there's not, nothing really fancy going on here with the database. We're kind of, we're not have any foreign keys or anything like that. It's just kind of simple way to follow users. So, and I'm saying this is, this is good enough for a simple website, a simple database. Um, you know, gra uh, object store database. In the real world, there remains to be seen if this is, you know, if you, would, if you could build a website like LinkedIn, like this kind of uh, simple simple stuff going on here, but um, in essential, this is does enough just for this website, you know, this clone. So that is pretty much the app uh, in its entirety, pretty much. So I think uh, in the next video, what I'll do is we'll talk about how we can deploy Sapper onto to Google Cloud uh, and run it run it there with something like Cloud Run. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, 